Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and today I have another collage in my alphabet storybook. Uh, this one is called Hanasaka Jizan, a Japanese folk tale. A Hanasaka Jizan means roughly a story of an old man who made withered trees blossom, but I felt like the story was more about the dog than the old man, so in my collage I focused on the dog. As the story goes, a good and kind but poor old couple had a dog. This dog was much loved and treated like one of the family since they had no children. One day, the dog dug in the garden and there the old couple found a box of gold coins. They were very happy and paid all their bills and bought a few small items they had always needed and wanted. Well, the news got around that the old couple's dog had found gold coins and their neighbor became very jealous. He thought that the dog must have special ability to find treasure, and so he asked to borrow the dog. The kind old couple permitted the neighbor to borrow the dog for the night, and that night the dog dug in the neighbor's garden, but all that was there were some old bones, and the neighbor became very angry at the dog, and in a rage he killed him. The next day, the neighbor returned the dead dog and explained that he didn't know what happened. The dog just died suddenly. The old couple was very sad, and they buried their beloved dog under the fig tree in the garden where he had found the treasure for them. That night, the old man dreamed that the dog came to him and told him to chop down the fig tree and to make a mortar from it. In the morning, the old man told his wife what he had dreamed. Oh, you must do as the dog tells you, she said. And so the old man chopped down the fig tree and made a mortar from the wood just as the dog had said. When they used the mortar, the rice they had poured into it turned into gold. Again, the couple was very grateful to their beloved dog and the news got around that the dead dog had helped them again. The jealous neighbor heard of it and asked to borrow the mortar and the kind old couple let him. But when the neighbor put rice into the mortar, it didn't turn into gold, as it had for the good couple. Instead, it turned into rotten berries. The neighbor was so angry that he smashed the mortar and burned the pieces into ashes. The next day, he returned the ashes and said, he didn't know what happened. It just accidentally fell into the fire. That night, the old man dreamed again. This time, the dog came to him and told him to sprinkle the ashes onto the ground around certain withered cherry trees. So when the old man did that the next day, the trees began to blossom beautifully. And just then, the daimoyo, the feudal landlord, was passing by and marveled at the blooming cherry trees that had once been withered. He was so enchanted by them, he gave the old couple many expensive gifts. And of course, hearing about this, the jealous neighbor took some of the ashes that he had left over and sprinkled it onto the ground around his cherry trees. But instead of blooming, the ashes blew into the Daimoyo's eyes, and the angry Daimoyo had the neighbor man thrown into prison. <laughs> I think 
I love a good story where the bad guy gets what's coming to him. <laughs> so as you can see, the story was more about the old the old couple's dog than it was about the old couple. And so my collage has the dog, the box of coins, and a few garden plants. Plus a big black hole that he's digging in the garden. This was lots of fun because I hid a few pictures in the uh, in the dog and the coins and I love doing that. Um, I think what you'll find, I have two eyes, an old man's face, a horse head, some band members playing the instruments, a little white dragon, horses pulling a plow, you can see them up there behind the dog's head, Two old paintings with frames. I think I've got them over there by the dog's tail. There's the old man's face. And you'll see it in a minute, half a butterfly. There it is, blue. I think the interesting thing is that even though you put eyeballs and faces into a collage like this, when you stand back, all, all of the values blend together and no one notices them. Not until you're looking for them. There's one of the eyeballs. There's the little white dragon on his foot, on his leg. These collages are coming along for the new alphabet book. I am finishing up uh, the one for J right about now, and I believe I should have this done by next year and published. If anyone is interested, And there it is, it's all done. A little bit of a close-up on some of the things I've hidden in the dog. There's a painting there on his back leg. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I really enjoyed doing it. And do check out some of my links below and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. See you next time. Bye everyone.